Hey guys, Brian here. Today we're going to take a look at the Handheld Sound Scoring Mallets Bundle, which is on deal right now. Let's check it out. All right, guys, so let's check out the Scoring Mallets Bundle from Handheld Sound. Now, in this library, you get three mallet instruments, the xylophone, vibraphone, and the marimba. Now, these are focused kind of on, you know, realistic orchestral uh, mallet performances, but you can use them in, you know, pop songs or whatever really you need them for. So we have a few different articulations as well. We have some nice rolls, trills, and glissandos. And then we also have a really cool stage positioning feature here, which allows you to place it into a virtual stage very quickly and easily without using um, third-party plugins, which is what I would normally do. So the fact it's all right here is pretty cool. So let's check out the different instruments, the xylophone, the vibraphone, and the marimba. Now, one of the really cool features of this is that it has a mode for four mallets where the players actually use four mallets at the same time. Um, this is actually the only library uh, that does this kind of articulation and I'll show you exactly what it is now for this you're going to need a sustain pedal if you don't have a sustain pedal on your keyboard I don't there is a function for it you know in a MIDI CC automation you would just need to find it here and add it to your um, your automation lane down here so with the it's all the way up and it's on down it's off so there are actually four different uh, types of plane with the four mallets and it's really cool so I'll show you exactly what that sounds like with the different modes here now to enable it you're gonna have to do the sustain pedal down there and then also play four notes at a time it'll sound something like this So you also notice we have uh, nice velocity sensitive notes there as well. And we'll go in and see the different types of playing with those four mallets. So that was the basic. This is the independent. This one here is my favorite. It's called Ripple. So in, in addition to that, we also have a really cool performance feature with the rolls and the glissandos. So let me show you that. So to enable the roll or trill, you hold down the key switch and then just hold two notes. You can have it sync to your tempo or you can also adjust with this here. So it'll go in quarter notes and stuff like that. And we also have the glissando, which will do a gliss between whichever two notes you push. So there's some really cool features built into this as well as the kind of standard articulations you would get with any orchestral mallet um, library. So we'll go down here and we'll see our different mic positions. We have tight center, loose stage, and wides. So let's see what those sound like real quick. The tight center will obviously be very dry and up close. We'll go to the loose here, and you can also enable all of them at the same time, but I'll isolate each one to show you exactly what, uh, exactly what type of sound you get. We'll go to the stage mics, which will obviously give you a nice hall sound and a more warm and kind of spacious sound.
and then finally the wides which will obviously give you the biggest uh, room sound. Now a really cool feature of this as well as I mentioned is the really nice stage placement tools. So normally I would load up a third party plugin to kind of position things in a virtual stage. You can do it all here within the GUI itself and um, from front to back and left to right. We'll see what that sounds like. So that was kind of all the different articulations for the xylophone. Um, so ev obviously the same you know, premise applies across every single instrument. And so we'll have the vibraphone as well as the marimba. Let's check out the sound of the vibraphone. So I also wanted to show you how the step sequencer worked. So I've set that up for this little pattern right down here. So it has kind of an alternating sound by default so that not every note is playing at the same velocity and it gives it a more realistic sound. Now you can set that um, according to according to what kind of notes you want to play from 16th notes all the way up to 64th notes which is obviously a bit insane let's put it on 16th notes and see how it sounds So just by doing that in the pattern mode right here it will give you a nice kind of realistic you know sound where not, it's not just hammering on every single note at the same velocity and of course you can go in and adjust these however so it can be you know the pattern can play in whatever velocity uh, curve you want lastly let's check out the marimba let's just do that same pattern with the marimba see what that sounds like So there at the end I use both the loose mics here as well as the wides and you can also do just the stage and the tight mics and it gives you a bit you know a lot of detail but also a little bit of that ambience this would kind of be like your typical um, close and deca tree microphone uh, setup. So that was a quick look at the scoring mallets. It's, they're really, really good, and I really love how they have all these you know, nice performance features with the ostinatos and everything, and the rolls and the trills and that four mallet performance techniques. You can really get some cool um, you know, humanized performances out of these libraries that I've never heard in any other orchestral percussion library where it's just kind of, you know, one shot notes and everything. So definitely going to be using these a lot. I was pleasantly surprised by the quality and the features in these libraries from Handheld Sound on deal for a limited time only. So don't miss it. Remember to like the video if you want to support us and stay tuned for more. I will see you guys next time. Thanks.